Hi guys, Katie here, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about meal planning. So, I've already posted the meal plan in the Facebook group, as you should have seen. If you can't find it, make sure you just go up to the top of the Facebook page, click the file tab, and you should be able to find it right there. So first things first, I need you guys to open that, take a look at it, print it off if that works best for you, but really make sure you get it and that you're able to look at it because this is a great tool for you. I'm not saying that you have to stick to it. It is a guideline. I'm not going to force you to eat it, obviously, but this is probably one of my favorite meal plans. It's just going to show you that making better food decisions, uh, cleaning up your eating does not have to be boring at all. There's actually some really fun recipes on here that taste good. Yes, they taste good. All right, so that's your first thing is make sure that you have looked at your meal plan. Um, as you're looking at that meal plan, I just want you to start making either some mental notes or take your pen or pencil and mark them. Mark which recipes or which things you think sound really good because you're gonna need to know that throughout the week. Okay, some of you also might have already been on um, maybe doing some other kind of beach body program. I, ha I have a ton of them. So, you know, obviously I take whatever meal plan I'm looking at as well as any nutrition guide from a workout program. Um, I'm also going to be doing Ultimate Reset, so I've got some ideas in there. I take all of these things and I decide what I'm going to eat during the week. And this is what I would like for you guys to start thinking about, okay? So each day, through these 10 days, we're going to decide what we're having for breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, and dinner, okay? So we're eating five times during the day. And um, those can be any anything you want. It's totally up to you. You do need to have your Shakeology at least once a day. We do recommend having it either for breakfast or lunch, um, but we know people that do it for dinner too. So it's totally your call. Make it, make it something yummy and put it where you think you're gonna need it most. If you're not a breakfast eater, I definitely recommend making it for breakfast because it's gonna help you throughout the day. Okay, so back to it. You've already circled and decided on a couple things that you want during the week. You know that you want them for your breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, or dinner. Now, I recommend that you write them down, okay? This can be pencil, pad, and paper, whatever you want. I have a calendar that I put it on, and this is just me. You don't have to do it this way, but it just really helps me. So, like, um, I breakfast, uh, lunch, and dinner, and I usually put my snacks down here. Um, but I've also done it where I just write down... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on a piece of paper and write it out. The reason I recommend that you do that is because this is going to start establishing your grocery list. Okay, so as soon as you decide what you want for want to eat for each day, you'll double check in your fridge, you'll look in your cupboards to see what you have on hand, and then you'll make your grocery list as to what you need for the rest of your meals. I recommend doing this on the weekend or if you're a week shopper, that's great too. Um, the weekends just work for me so that when I get home from the grocery store and I have my carrots and my um, peppers and all that good stuff that I take it out of the bag and I prepare it. I actually wash it and chop it. Um, same goes for berries and all the other fruit. I wash it, get it chopped up and I put it in containers. Okay, so like strawberries and berries they're already in containers and they go right in my fridge um, that way I, I can grab and go I can put it in my lunch bag I can um, take it with me if I have to go run some errands and I'm running short on time another thing um, I like to do also is even just make whole salads and wrap it up and put it in the fridge that way I can just take it out at lunch and I'm good to go um, I also recommend if you enjoy chicken, you can make it in the crock pot. Um, simple as that. Quinoa is also a really great thing that you can make ahead of time and use for breakfast or pair it with a food at night. Um, so there's lots of different options of being able to prepare your food ahead of time and then just grab and go. You know, So it really does help when you get that stuff prepped and ready to go. So we went over the meal plan, writing it down, deciding what you're going to have, making your grocery list, preparing it, Sounds pretty good. I think that sounds like a pretty successful week. So 
think about those things. You guys um, ask any questions as you're looking through the meal plan guide or, you know, whatever you're, you're going to decide to eat. Um, if you have any prepping tips as well, please feel free to post them below. I'm sure that it will help everybody in the group. Otherwise, any questions, just holler. Uh, Melissa and I are here to help you. Thanks, guys. Bye.